start at the beginning, I'm going to start with the computer. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug in the computer. So power goes in there and we plug this in the back, but I'm not actually going to plug it in until we've connected up everything else. So I'll put this down here for a second. Next we want to put in the sound card. So it's a multi-channel sound card, got four stereo outputs, one stereo input, and they're marked with the um, red, blue, yellow, green, and then the red with a white stripe. So that can plug into one of the USBs on the back of the computer. So that's our sound card connected. The next thing we want to do is make sure that we've got our wireless keyboard and mouse dongle plugged in as well. That can be left in there, um, but essentially that's required so you've got the keyboard and mouse. And finally, for the computer, I'm also going to plug in the HDMI video cable, which comes in the box with the touchscreen. That goes into the HDMI on the back of the computer. And also, there's a USB cable that's also included in the touchscreen box. We we'll plug that into the back of the computer as well. That's for the touchscreen. On the back of the monitor, power goes in here. HDMI goes in here. USB goes in the bottom here. And as you can see, we've got a DVI and a VGA that we won't be using and also not an audio input which we won't be using either. So those three need to be left alone. So next we're going to connect up the audio cabling between the mixer and the sound card. So we have the cable loom here. On one end we've got little jacks, just like on your iPod. And on the other hand we've got some bigger jacks and some cable, some connectors called XLR cables. The big jacks that are colour coded are, um, these are the outputs from the computer system for the Myriad playback channels into the mixing desk. So there's four of those. And then the XLR connections are the output of the mixer going back into the computer for recording and streaming. So let's um, plug these into the mixing desk. So it's very straightforward, it's all color coded. So here we've got the red, white, red. Here we've got the red, white, red. And we need to plug them in. Now, normal convention is red is right. So plug that in there, clicks in place. That's now done. Next we're going to plug in the Myriad playback channel. So we start with the green connector and once again the red stripe here indicates the right channel. So plug that in there. Uh, red next. Make sure they're pushed all the way down. Blue. And finally yellow. Okay, so now all we need to do is plug in the um, other end of the cable loom into the sound card. So same thing, we just look at the color coding in here and just plug it in. So red, white, red goes into the red, white, red. Green goes into green. And we just check that the color coding all matches across the board. And when we're happy with that, we can hide that behind the touch screen. So the speaker cable with the gray markings plug into the CRM speakers also with the grey sticker. And then you need the speaker with the knobs and buttons on. This is the active speaker. Around the back you've got all of the connections. So uh, confusingly on here white is left so we plug that in there. Just as long as the red is the same there, that's fine. We'll also need to plug power in for this speaker in a second, but I'll, I'll do that in a second. So that's one speaker connected. Okay, next we're going to plug the second speaker in. On the second speaker there's a um, single socket and in the speaker box you'll see a cable like this which is basically just a phono to phono. We haven't marked these at all because there's only one of them. So 
you'd plug one end into your right speaker, plug the other end into the only available connection here that isn't coloured, and then you'd position this speaker to the right of the touchscreen. Next up is the microphones. When they uh, come into boxes, they actually come separately, so you've got a microphone and a, a mic stand. The mic stand comes in two parts, and you just screw the, the stem onto the base. And then the microphone can slide into there. Make sure the microphones are on the on position as well. You can turn them on and off, but normally we leave them on all the time and use the faders on the mixer to turn the microphones on and off. Included in the package is two microphone leads. These are standard XLR to XLR leads. One of them has a white stripe on it. And one of the microphones has a white label on it. So we plug one end in. You can see the male connector on the microphone. So we plug the female XLR in until it clicks. Plug the other end onto the mic channel, and again, because we're on the white stripe, the white indicator here, plug it in. Repeat the process for the second mic. This one goes into the, the black one there. When you plug these in, this little indicator goes towards the bottom. Sometimes you have to just twist it a little bit till you find feel where it is, and then you can push down. So the final two pieces of equipment are the two sets of headphones. These are pretty straightforward, standard connector on them and it just plugs into uh, we want to plug one into the CRM phones control room phones that's your main desk output for the main presenter and the second one plugs into guest phones one for your guests or your second presenter and that's everything now plugged together now all we've got to do is turn it on